Hello everyone, my name is Drupal and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install a custom Cubicore script. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a custom Cubicore inventory. Now you can use any Cubicore inventory that you want. They're more or less always going to have pretty much the exact same way of installing them. But you can always double check the install instructions, but I'm pretty sure roughly it should be the exact same. Feel, feel free to use anything you want. Or you could use the one that I'm using in this video, which is this one right here. It's actually a pretty nice free mod right here. And I'll leave the link down to that in the description below, just underneath the download section. But once you guys have got yourself an inventory mod, come to GitHub, download it by just clicking code, and then download zip. Once it is finished downloading, we're going to open it on up, minimize to our desktop here, and we're going to find our 5M server. Mine's right here on my desktop, Cubicore HDN. We're going to open that on up. We're going to go to TX Data, Cubicore Framework, and then Resources. You guys might not have all of these folders right here because this server has been set up with my website and application hgnetwork.1, which is also down in the description below if you guys want to check that out. But you guys will definitely have this folder right here, QB. We're going to go inside of here. We're going to scroll on down until we find the QB inventory folder, which is somewhere here. There you guys go. So all we're going to do is delete this QB inventory folder. You're welcome to copy it and put it somewhere else. So you guys have a copy of it just in case anything goes wrong. But we're just going to delete this folder. So delete. We're going to go back to our download. Open it on up. And we're going to open up this QB inventory .ra here. And you should be able to see inside of that is going to be the actual mod right here. And all you guys are going to want to do just briefly, I wanted to tell you guys about my new website, hcnetwork.1, which actually sets up a 5M server for you. If you guys cannot be bothered to deal with all the management and having to add in mods and things like that, you can literally just check out my website down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1, and you can set up a 5M server in literally just a couple of seconds using the included auto installer, and it will have already over 120 plus mods. That's custom vehicles, custom maps, custom menus, literally everything you guys can need, and you literally did not have to do anything. So check that out down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1. It's very simply, now we've removed our old QB inventory script, grab this QB inventory folder and drag and drop it in like so. And just like that, we are done. And so if you guys are installing a different inventory script and maybe it isn't named QB inventory, do not worry, still delete the old QB inventory script and then just drag and drop it in. It doesn't matter if it's named QB inventory or not, it will still work. And it's the same if you guys have a mod QB inventory, then it says, and then a dash and then main. Just make sure you guys remove that main part. You always do that with all scripts. I'm not sure what mod you're installing, but if it is there, just get rid of it. It's always safe to do so, to do that. And then make sure the scripts works properly. If you guys have done the exact same as me now, we should be good to actually start our server on up. And here you guys go once you've loaded into the server and selected your character, etc. And we press tab to open our inventory. We should be able to see our beautiful newly reskinned inventory mod. It's actually a really, really nice mod and it's free. If you guys installed a different one, you guys should be able to see your new inventory mod as well. Just like that, it's pretty easy and simple to do, and it makes your server that much more unique compared to all the other Cubicore inventories out there as well. Obviously, we've got our hotbar too that we can toggle as well. But if you guys look on the map here, you guys can see I probably have a lot more things on the map than you. That's because I set up the server using my website, hcnetwork.1, and picking one of our Cubicore packages and using the hcnetwork auto installer, which installs all of this server like you're seeing right now in literally just one click. So be sure to check that out down in the description below if you guys are interested. It's a cheap one-time payment as well. No monthly fees. It's actually pretty affordable. So check that out down in the description below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.